What's up guys? Welcome to the channel where you subscribe for daily updates on Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. We're going to be taking a look at the charts. I'm going to show you what I'm expecting in the market. I'll show you some areas to watch. Also, if you haven't already, check out the free Discord group in the description below the video. It's totally free, guys. Awesome community. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. Always do your own due diligence and your own research before investing or trading in any market. Before we begin, I want to remind you we are doing a Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Tick the notification bell, scroll down, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what you think Bitcoin's going to do, where you think we're headed. Um, do you think it's up from here? Do you think we still have a major correction to go as I do? Let me know in the comments below. Let's, uh, and I will be doing that on Sunday. I'll be picking a random comment from a random video throughout the week and that will be picking the winner. Fear and greed index. We are in the neutral zone. We were in the fear, raised four points. Like I said, now we're in the neutral. Um, bulls gaining a little confidence for what reason? I have no idea. Um, in the macro, we have made nothing but lower highs in the price action. And if you look at the price action here, we've made higher highs in the monthly. And you go off of the bodies here, not the wicks when you're measuring divergence. And we've made lower highs in the RSI. That is bearish divergence, guys. I repeat, bearish divergence. Um, also, this yellow dotted trend line we've been watching a monthly close above 11,100 would be bullish other than that we are bearish um i made the video last week showing you guys this here on the weekly um if you guys watched that video i had said this was going to be our resistance a break above that could be bullish but i didn't think it was going to happen which it didn't we are now currently below the 8 ema on the weekly and 10,550 is the 13 EMA, 21 EMA is all the way down at 10,160 area. And then we have the 55 EMA all the way down to the 92. And then to retest this trend line down here is around the 8,800. These are all numbers we have been talking about this whole time on the channel. One of the things I'm waiting for here, guys, is a retest of this bottom trend line. I do think that's going to be a life changing trade. Um, Let's look at, this is a pretty clean chart, just real quick, looking at the rising broadening wedge in white, the measured move of that being 38.32. I know a lot of people say it's impossible. I'm not saying it has to happen. There is a gap down here in the CME futures all the way down to 35.70. Be aware of that. Now, if we look at the pink trend lines here, look at a measured move. If we were to drop down past this 10,000 range, um, would be 6,500. Does that happen in a day? Not in one day, guys. Um, it will obviously take time if that happens. But I do believe we're going to see a pretty massive drop um, today, in my opinion, um, at least down to the 10,200 range. Uh, but I could be wrong, and I will show you the invalidation points. But as of right now, like I said, it does look like we're going to continue down here, in my opinion. Let's look at... Prime XBT, if you guys are interested in trading and you want to make mar money, whether the market goes up or down, definitely check out Prime XBT. I'll leave a tutorial up top. I am currently still in my trades. Um, this account was started with 0.1 Bitcoin. As of right now, it's at 0.16, so it's up about almost 700 bucks. Um, you can see all my trades are still active here. I have my stops all the way up at 10.9. I will probably be moving those down. But I do believe on here, if we break the uh, 10,660 range today, we are headed down to at least uh, around the 10.5, most likely around 10.2. Um, if this support line holds one more time, you know, we could get a rise up, but it's not looking too promising. But if you do use Prime XBT, use my promo code SAVVY50. That'll get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit as a bonus up to one Bitcoin. Savvy 25 will get you 25% off of your fees. So check it out if you haven't already. And let's look at the DXY, the dollar index. Looks like it's about to break back above the EMAs here. We have this target up at 95.86. 
And that could give us a clue if we get up into this area where B Bitcoin does bottom, if that does happen. Um, as you can see, looking at this low and this low here, this low and this low here, we're making higher lows in the price, lower lows in the RSI. That is hidden bullish divergence. Let's look at the chart we've been watching for quite a while. This was our dump back in March um, where the outbreak began. And I'm going to show you real quick. I know a lot of people say that's only because of, um, you know, the outbreak and whatever happened. Well, if you guys watched my channel back then, go back. If you didn't watch the videos, I was calling this. I was calling it to 5,300, of course, because we didn't know, um, you know, about the big thing that was going to happen. But if you look at this as a bear flag, take a measured move of that. That gets us right down to where we stopped here, right? And if we look over here. We had this low, which was the bottom of the bear flag. And then when we came down to the measured move, we had another stop here. I do think we are going to see the same thing. I do think we are probably going to get some bad news, guys. Uh, show me the charts. I'll tell you the news. I don't know if you ever heard that, but check it out. Google it. Um, but anyway, we stopped right there. Did some consolidation and then boom, got our huge drop right here. Everything is looking to play out the same here, guys. Um, it's just a rising, broadening wedge in this picture. And the bottom of that, it lies around the 10,250, right in that range. A break of that will get us down to these targets. As you can see, this was our drop here. The bottom of the flag came up, touched our trend line here. And then I look for one more touch here before it breaks. And I'm going to look for something like this in the RSI. Um, let's take the measured moves off of that. If we look at this the same way as we looked at it over in March with the flag pull from the break here, it's actually a little bit longer than that. There we go. And put it down here. It gets us to, and that that's if we break out in the next day or two. Um, obviously the price targets will move up along with that. That gets us all the way down to, I don't know why that's changed, but okay. Um, right around the 8,900 range. So if it waited another day or so, it'd probably go down to the 8,800 range right in there. And then if we look at this as a, oh, I'm sorry. This here was our measured move for the flag. Apologize guys, at 8,500, um, that smaller move let me redo that again I apologize I wanted to get this video out quick because I do believe we are gonna see a dump today um, in my opinion but if we do look at the drop if we do drop below that 10,200 and it's gonna be right around the $9,000 range right around 9,050 I believe yeah somewhere in that range um, 9,050, 9,020, 9,000, right in that range. But I do believe we are going to head down in this direction. In the bullish case, would be coming up to retest this again around the 11,600, 11,700 area before continuing down. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but it is Bitcoin. I am looking for these. And one other way to look at this, guys, um, put this on here, would be looking at this as an ABC correction. That'd be A, B, and C. That would be down to the one-to-one -one extension here, which would line up with this, around the 8,500. Um, if we're lucky, that could be the bottom, and then we cruise up from there. But like I said, I do have lower targets measured in this, and I do think there's a good possibility that we could see much lower targets. If you guys want to help support the channel, this is my wife's webpage, anchorimage.com. There's a link down below with my other affiliate links down there that help support the channel. Check it out. She's got a lot of cool stuff on here. She can, If you have any ideas of anything you want on this stuff, she can just hit her up in the contact. She can help you out with it. All right, looking at the four hour, we're looking at this as a rising wedge. And our measured move from the break of that rising wedge is around the $6,000 range. If we measure from the swing low to the swing high with the Fibonacci retracement, 10,445 area is our 0.236 fib if that breaks. 9180 
is the 0 0.382 fib. And if that was the break, 81.65 is the 0 0.5. Then we have our golden pocket zone down here between 68.50 and 71.50. Um, I would expect at least a bounce here before coming down to, we have to break that. Once we break this, we can get down to that $6,000 range. If that breaks, the 0.786 is around 57.75. And then our low over here, if that breaks, obviously we could go down and close that gap at the 35.70 range. Um, does it have to happen? Absolutely not. Is it possible? Absolutely. Let's take a look at what happened here. Um, if we if we take well, this is a smaller move here. If you look what happened here, if you measure from the swing high to the swing low and put the Fibonacci retracements on there, we got rejected right at the 0.786 fib. Now let's zoom in a little bit and take another look at a little closer I'll just show you how the fibs work on this stuff um, let's get the Fibonacci retracement and we'll go from this swing high here to the swing low right here and as you can see we got rejected right at the golden pocket zone um, uh, the highest we could go back up here would be around 10,884 that's why I have my stops at 10,900 but it does look more like everything's turning over, getting pretty bearish here. We'll see how this candle goes on the four hour. Um, it is just starting, so we just got this pump. But I do think we'll most likely get rejected here. These EMAs are going to turn over and we'll come down from here. That's my opinion. You make up your own mind. But it is looking, it's looking pretty bearish. Um, one hour chart and then we'll go into ethereum and litecoin the one hour chart so look at this as a rising wedge we had a breakdown right here the measured move of that is 10167 that's what i'm expecting to see somewhere in that range today at least and if you look at the rsi it does look like we are making a head and shoulders and most likely come all the way down have a huge drop today i really believe it's going to be fast and hard and I'm not saying it's going to end today. Um, we'll probably get some consolidation, maybe a retrace. One thing I want to tell you, show you guys for all you bulls out there. Let me get this out of the way. We'll go into, we're going to start here. I'm just going to show you how the bulls been reacting. Everybody was calling me crazy, being bearish here. Boom, we got our drop. Bulls are quiet. We get a little retracement. Bulls are saying we're going to the moon again. Boom, we get our drop. Bulls shut up. And we get a little bit of retracement. Everybody comes out of the woodwork. It's going to the moon, going to the moon. Boom, we get a drop. Same thing here. We're going to the moon, we're going to the moon. Drop. Look, guys, those are lower highs. Quit getting so bullish until we break a, a previous high. We can't even do that. Same thing, even if we zoom into the smaller time frame here. Boom, get the drop. We get this little pump. And bulls come out of the woodwork screaming we're going to the moon. Boom, drop. So we may get up to this area today. Let's say we go test 10,776, 10,700, or 10,800 again today. They're going to go crazy, say it's going to the moon. Boom, drop. We have a trend line right here. Let me put it in there real quick. Most likely, I see this breaking today. If not, this week for sure. Um, and as of right now, Today, it would be around the 10,600 range. If that breaks, guys, um, goodbye, bulls. So anyways, that's what I am seeing. Let's take a look at this one hour again. Just look at it a different way. Sorry, I got thrown off a little bit there. Um, I just think it's funny how the bulls react. Anyways, and no hate towards the bulls. We need bulls and bears or there wouldn't be a market. So um, that's just how I feel about it. Rising channel here. If we take a measured move from where we broke down there, that gets us down to the 9,700 area. Of course, we have a gap down there. So be aware of that. Um, and the same thing, looking at this as an ABC, uh, we had that measured move down to, or the, I'm sorry, the one-to-one -one extension down to 8,500. Litecoin, nothing has changed, guys. Still the same. Um, the breakdown from this channel up here, we have a measured move, 3860 range. I'm still looking for that. Uh, can we get a pop-up today? There is room in the RSI. If we do, 
Um, the highest I see us going, first stop would be about 49 and then 50. If we break 50, I get bullish. Uh, and Bitcoin, we'd have to break 11,100 and close above that to get bullish. But other than that, I remain bearish. Um, let's take a look at looking at this as a bear flag. This being the flagpole that gets us down to around the 3140, 3150 range. Ethereum, same thing, guys. Um, a break of the 400, I get bullish. Until then, I see we're extremely bearish. Uh, the measured move from the break of this rising broadening wedge was 246. We've had that target forever. And look at this as a bear flag, the measured move of 200. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching, stopping in. Don't forget to smash the likes and leave your comments to get you entered to win the Ledger Nano S. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me. If you could, share the video if you belong to any groups or whatnot, if you like the content. Um, yeah, and again, all the support I'm getting, you guys rock. We, got, we crossed 18,000 subscribers the other day. Let's see how long it takes for us to get to 19,000. It kind of sucks um, being a bearish channel in Bitcoin because everybody just wants to hear to the moon all the time. So, and I I put the bearish thumbnails up when I'm bearish. I don't put bullish 100K Bitcoin all the time and oh my God, breaking news or blah, blah, blah. It's not a BS channel, guys. If you watch, if, you, if that's what you want, this isn't the channel for you. Sorry, but it's not. Um, we try to look at the facts and the charts. Anyways, thanks again, guys. Don't forget to click Crypto Savvy logo above my head to get you subscribed if you haven't already. Take it easy.